Good evening. This is Maestro Cortello with the Dawn of War 2 Retribution League Modcast. Today we have a 2v2 on Median Cliff Mines. Our first player right here is Crazy Man, playing as the Plague Champion. The Plague Champion starts out as a ranged hero. He can become a melee hero. He has some heretic heal worship. He can also repair, build turrets, and such. Crazy Man's teammate is Fear right here, playing as this Lord General. Can't really get a great look at him right now, but the Lord General is the only commander who is a squad. He has the Stormtrooper retinue, giving him a little extra firepower. He holds a bolter one-handed in his bionic arm. Um, he is mainly a supporting and buffing hero. He does not start out with an ability, but every single one of his war gears has an ability, and it's usually some kind of support ability. On the other team, first off, we have Noisy, short for Noisy Elmo, playing as this Orc Warboss about to stomp all over some heretics. The Orc Warboss is a tank, tanky melee hero. He is wearing a truck on his back. He has some great upgrades. He can charge. He is about to wipe some heretics right there. Gets very close. Will his shooter boys be able to finish? No, they don't. Finally, Noisy's teammate, much smaller, is Chaos Librarian playing as the Sou Thousand Sons Sindri Trollface Chaos Sorcerer, who is now in retreat. The Sorcerer is a spell-casting hero and tricking hero. Really awesome hero, has a huge troll mask. Alright, so this was a replay sent to me by Chaos Librarian. Now, I get all sorts of replay submissions um, of varying quality, some from good players, some from less good players. Um, sometimes it's less good players sending me great games, and sometimes I actually have very good players sending me not so great games. Uh, Chaos Librarian is someone who is a very good player, and he sends me fantastic games. I would say he hasn't submitted too many so far, but the ones he has submitted to me have been amazing. Although usually he submits it to Injured and Ruby too, and one of them gets around to casting it first because they are smart enough not to pass up the opportunity. At any rate, we have Fear here doing his uh, triple sentinel play that he's been doing a lot lately. This is very interesting. Now the triple sentinel play, uh, I haven't tried it yet myself. What I can say about it, first of all, it's obviously very fast. You have three units with speed eight. Uh, that gives a lot of chasing power. Meaning, if you have really weak units like Shooter Boys or Heretics that are very low on health, um, the Sentinels can actually chase them down and actually threaten to wipe them on retreat. This is mostly for, for really weak units. You won't really be doing that to Tactical Marines or Chaos Space Marines. Um, one of the other great things about this build is that it won't bleed much because the Sentinels don't bleed. They don't lose models. And it's also, by having three Sentinels, you actually overcome one of the Sentinels' greatest weaknesses, which is that it's it actually doesn't really do that much damage. Uh, but when you take the damage of a single Sentinel and multiply it by three, that's actually going to be pretty good. Uh, one of the disadvantages of this build, though, with with the, beer, the build that Veer has, he only has one Guardsman, so he has very limited repair support. But, I mean, look at what those Sentinels are doing to the Shooter Boys. Leaving those models... And I normally think of Orcs as um, one of the best races for dealing with that Sentinel in Tier 1 since they put out the most, potentially the most ranged DPS uh, out of any race in Tier 1. And that can really put a lot of pressure on wiping Sentinels when most races really struggle with that. Um, but in that case, with having three Sentinels, it just really bleeds those shooter models very quickly. We actually have a Heavy Bolter turret put up by Crazy Man. You don't see this a lot, but I personally think you should see it more. Um, it has a huge firing arc. It suppresses somewhat slowly, but it has a huge firing arc. Now, Chaos Sorcerer, Chaos Librarian, has upgraded to the Sigil of the Rift, and he just teleports Noise Marines right behind that, that Heavy Bolter turret and uh, takes it out. And that's, that's a very smart play. It's... It's definitely a very good answer to um, basically those er early turrets. Uh, Well-placed turrets can be extremely difficult to deal with in Tier 1. Now, one of the things that Crazy Man could have done to prevent that from happening, um, if he had had 
a havoc set up behind that heavy bolter turret uh, that could have potentially stopped the noise marines. That's something that often, especially tech marine players, will put a devastator behind a tech marine turret to uh, prevent it from from basically just from getting killed uh, by anything that manages to get around the turret. So we now have double shooter boys right here, fully upgraded. Uh, and in part, I think, probably to deal with those sentinels and also to make it less likely that the uh, shooter squads will get wiped uh, by the sentinels, just taking all that range fire. Since the shooter, the shooter knob um, is much, much tougher than the individual shooter boys. And he can actually be the difference between keeping a shooter squad alive or losing it entirely. Uh, and you do definitely want to keep shooter squads alive. They definitely, I think, I actually think shooter squads scale very well, even though late game they can be replaced by something like flash kits. Uh, but just they do incredible damage and they will level up a lot from getting a lot of model kills from bashing generators. And they're already a unit with a very high base DPS, so when you add in the effect of leveling, they're just going to be doing really great damage. Uh, and they do have a lot of versatility versatility and functionality as a melee counter um, with aiming what's that. And aiming what's that has many uses beyond just countering melee. Uh, right now, Noisy is getting doubled. Um, we have that. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's, uh, well, he was getting doubled, and then Chaos Librarian actually went to help him out a bit. He had his Havocs coming out of Infiltration along with some Zoom Bolts from the Sorcerer. And we already have those Sentinel Missile Launcher upgrades. Now, normally it's a little bit tough for the, um, the Sentinels to just stand and face the shooter fire. Oh my god, those, those Slugger Boys are in a lot of trouble. I think that was actually attack ground um, by fear to, to get those uh, Slugger Boys on approach. Since normally if you just attack a unit and it's moving when you're using the Sentinel Missile Launcher, the Sentinel Missiles will usually miss since they take so much time to travel to the target. But those Sentinel Missile Launchers... They, they do a lot better against the Shooter Boys than a multi-laser Sentinel. Um, since they just need to land a hit with that Barrage. And then they're all already threatening the Shooter Boys a lot. That Sentinel Missile Launcher Barrage, the Frag Missiles, um, really do... Really do improve the damage potential of the Sentinels. Oh, War Boss is going to go down there, I think. Yes, he does. And where is... Oh, Chaos Librarian. Is this... this is, yeah, this is Chaos Librarian. Fortunately, Noisy Elmo was fighting a little uh, by himself there against two armies. A bunker's going down. This will surely be a repair bunker. Since um, that's just what's going to synergize best with Fear's current build. Oh my god, those Chaos Space Marines in a lot of trouble. So this triple sentinel thing, now, one of the things about sentinels is that they are very, very good in tier 1, almost necessary, and probably, it's it really is, I would say, like, a, a build with a sentinel is probably better than a build without a sentinel in the overwhelming majority of cases. Uh, the, one of the biggest disadvantages to the sentinel, though, is that it has a lot of trouble scaling. Uh, in part just because it has a lot of trouble surviving beyond tier 1 once you once you have ra uh, range units getting upgrades or um, oh my god we have some chaos heretics in a lot of trouble but also slugger boys in a lot of trouble noisy elmo loses slugger boys trying to tough it out against double heretics um, using ard boys on his sluggers but uh, I don't think it really works out that well, especially not against two heretics. One heretic squad almost got wiped, but Crazy Man had uh, some good judgment and treated it out of there and just managed to keep it alive. Right now, the Sentinels are loaded with crack missiles. Uh, that is an anti-vehicle option. You can also use it to bash generators. Now, the crack missiles, uh, they actually are not terribly high DPS, but they do good burst damage, uh, good enough against vehicles. Need to be very careful, though, against this shooter blob. 
Uh, one of the things we also see is that the Warboss has the enhanced custom shootout, one Sentinel down. That's one of the great things about... Uh, that's just one of the great things about... Um, Orcs against Imperial Guard, most other races just would not be able to chase and pressure the Sentinels the way this, this little blob did. We now have Corn Space Marines up from Chaos Librarian. These things are incredibly good, um, particularly against IG, believe it or not. Uh, they can actually use their plasma pistols uh, against the Sentinel. They have 100% fire on the move, so they'll be doing a lot of range DPS against the Sentinels. And we have stuff going down for Crazy Man. Crazy Man lost a Heretic Squad somewhere and a huge Sentinel stomp, but he's going to lose another... Fear is going to lose, lose another Sentinel. He might even lose his last one. And we have um, a Sigil of the Rift warping Heretics out of base so that... so that Chaos Librarian could wipe them. So that was a brilliant play. There was a uh, crazy man retreated his heretics, and then uh, Chaos Librarian used his, his, the warp rift on the, the heretics in base to warp them out of there. So, Noisy had been suffering a little bit, but now uh, Fear has lost all of his sentinels. Crazy man lost both of his heretic squads. They're really looking very, very lean right now. Fear responding with double stormtroopers, uh, which is an interesting choice, to say the least. He'll probably want at least one with an anti-armor kit to deal with that war truck. The other one, may, he would probably be better off keep, uh, either, probably be best off actually putting the assault kit on it. If you're going to get two stormtroopers, it probably would be a good idea to, uh, to get one of each. There's that second Stormtrooper squad. Uh, this War Truck does need to be careful with how little health it has. It will actually take some light AV damage from these Chaos Raptors. Very, very light. Um, since the Raptors do regular melee damage and then power melee with the Power Claw model. As long as the War Truck is microed, it should not be a problem, but it can't just stay there. Now, this is ultimately a winning fight for... Yeah, that's ultimately going to be a winning fight for Noisy. Just reinforcing those shooter boys, putting out much more range DPS. Uh, he is going to bleed a lot, though, since he's relying on reinforcing from the War Truck. And the Chaos Space Marines will definitely kill a lot of the models. We actually have double Assault Kit Stormtroopers. So Fear right now doesn't actually have any AV whatsoever, and he did get the Sniper Rifle. Now, that does synergize very well with the Assault Kit Stormtroopers, because it means they can shoot from very, very long range. They can actually shoot... Um, they already have longer range than than most other ranged units. Uh, and when, when you use the Sniper Rifle along with that... Oh, and there goes that War Truck. So we did have a Plague Marine Squad. It only takes... Um, two or three Plague Marine rockets, and I think the, the War Truck was low on health right there. Or it did not have full health. Uh, and actually, the the Stormtroopers, those Assault Kit Stormtroopers, doing incredibly well against uh, Chaos Librarian's Heretics, and that's actually a very smart play, and that's something that I will probably want to keep in mind for the future, since I play Imperial Guard now. Um, basically, that those... Certainly, for at least uh, an exposed heretic worshipping squad. One, wow! And the, and the Chaos Sorcerer goes down right there. So a, a very nice recovery from Crazy Man and Fear. They were in a horrible situation. Um, and they managed to turn around it a bit. Uh, Fear going with actually what's proving to be a very strong build in a lot of ways. But we already have Chaos Terminators from Chaos Librarian. And those Assault Kit Stormtroopers will not be very good against the Assault against the Chaos Terminators. They will still be very, very good against the Shooter Boys, though. Especially if the Lord General decides to tie up one of them. He needs to tie up. Tie up. He's shooting it with his sniper rifle point blank. And we have a play cloud. Can it, it's going for these uh, stick bombers. We should try to see how many Shooter Boy models it can get. I don't think it will get the Shooter Knob, though. That Shooter Knob is too tough. Um, but does wipe most of the models. Now, these cast Terminators, unfortunately... Let's see, still somewhat uncountered. The 
heavy turret is taking shots on them and kills one of the models. Uh, the Chaos Terminators should target the heavy turret with their auto cannon, yes, to make it die much quicker. Uh, Chaos Raptors jump into Corn Space Marines, but that should be a win for the Corn Space Marines doing power melee damage and just being beastly in general. Like, Chaos Raptors nearly dead, and I think they will die. Or they will just barely get out of there alive. We have some Dark Flames and does, in fact, wipe those those Chaos Raptors. Oh, but the Corn Space Marines might get wiped in the process. So trading Corn Space... So very persistent play by Crazy Man and does actually wipe those Corn Space Marines as well, which is, that is pretty good. Uh, he did lose the Raptors, but uh, Corn Space Marines are a beastly unit. They are, and they are also, they're a unit that is already so beastly that they will inevitably level up and that will make them even more beastly. Uh, these storm, these cast, these stormtroopers, unfortunately, uh, really do not want to be taking these this cast terminator uh, fire. But the cast terminators need to go back to base and reinforce. Um, cast predator on the way for li cast librarian. And these stick bombs have been doing. They've actually been getting forced off quite a bit, but they've been hitting a few stick bombs, stunning this lord general right here. But he does not stop capturing. Uh, Havoc will set up. It is a two cap for the red team, so they're definitely in a winning position, but Chaos Librarian needs to retreat those Havocs. Now we have uh, Blastmaster Noise Marines. Unfortunately, they will start losing models as well with those Stormtroopers out there. These Stormtroopers doing very well, but fear... Um, he, lost one of, he lost a Guardsman squad at some point. Crazy Man, now with a... He's got a little bit of a... He's actually got quite a decent-sized army now. He's got double Plague Marines. These Plague Marines are not going to be doing a whole lot of anti-infantry damage, but they will be very effective against this Chaos Predator, certainly now that there are two of them. Uh, Chaos, the Plague Marines are not terribly powerful. They don't do a ton of damage, um, but they are good enough against vehicles, and certainly when you have two of them, doubling the damage and also in multiplying the effect of the snare. Uh, Crazy Man and Fear are do appear to be stuck in Tier 2, however, while both Noisy and Cast Librarian are in Tier 3. Cast Librarian with that Predator. And some Flash gets out uh, for Noisy. Now, since Noisy... Right now, he is... Since he is against Chaos... Oh! We have another Plague Cloud, and Noisy's just retreating, so some very, very good pressure by Crazy Man. He's recovered pretty nicely. Um, but this War Boss now has a Power Claw and Heavy Armor. That's going to be very tough for um, for Crazy Man to deal with, actually. Uh, although, he seems to be dealing with it. Uh, that being said, Crazy Man does have about four range units that he can use to focus down the War Boss. None of them are terribly powerful, but he still has four of them. Plague Champion goes down, unfortunately, and Crazy Man is not really in a good position to wipe it back, and I don't think Fear will be able to uh, revive him either. We have triple heavy turrets, though, to uh, guard this middle. So they, they've taken back the middle VP, and that's actually going to be something that's going to be pretty tough to deal with. Uh, two Vanquisher heavy, tur heavy turrets and one Executioner. So that Predator is actually in a lot of trouble. Just took two hits, and wow, the Predator goes down. So we've seen some nice plays. Fear choosing to invest not in an army, but in buildings. Uh, one of the main challenges, I think... Fear and Crazy Man still have, though, are these Chaos Terminators. Uh, they will start taking some damage from those Chaos Terminators. Still not that much. Uh, the missiles do hit, but the DPS of the missiles is not that high. It's just high burst damage, but it's it's high for a vehicle. And vehicles, of course, are units that have something like 700 health. Uh, we're talking about Chaos Terminators right now that have still have about 3,400 left. So Chaos Terminators will hit them with that missile, but still definitely not the best answer. Um, a Mark of Zinch on these cast Space Marines would be a much better answer. Uh, right now, at level 3, and with already with Eternal War and the Aspiring Champion, they would actually be doing... It's literally something like 8 or 9 times uh, as much damage as the Plague Marines would be doing uh, against the Terminators. So, 
would definitely be something that Crazy Man sh would want to look into. Uh, not so necessary against the Orcs, but it would still be a 35, roughly a 35% uh, roughly a 35% damage boost in base DPS, so it would still be devastating the Shooter Boys and the Flash Gits as well. Uh, in fact, Mark of Zinch cast, Space Marines fully upgraded, probably still do beat Flash Gits. Uh, one of the shooter squads, in fact, Noisy Elmo taking a lot of losses, loses a shooter squad. Uh, needs to be very careful about this war boss, but I think the war boss will go down. There's a rocks. Crazy Man is moving forward. No. Oh my god, Fear just lost both of his stormtroopers right there. Uh, Crazy Man reacted. Fear, unfortunately, did not. <laughs> and lost both of his stormtroopers. And those stormtroopers were doing so well. I'm sure they had a few levels, too. Um. Chaos Terminator is being rather sneaky. They're actually teleporting offensively to go for this new Manticore that Fear just bought. And Fear now has nothing, and it's a single cab game, a big VP lead for the red team. The Chaos Legions march from the Eye of Terror. It looks like Crazy Man is getting the Psy VP back. How long can they hold it, though, with fear not having units? He does have a Guardsman squad, and he's getting a new Stormtrooper squad. Uh, these Terminators now in a little bit of trouble. The teleport may still be on cooldown, so he's hiding them, courtesy of this Zinch worship, and will at least get them around the corner of this cliff, or not. He will just turn around and start shooting. Uh, which I think is a little bit risky. These Terminators are starting to get low on health. And the Plague Marines, although not not really great for damage, are extremely durable. And this is a losing battle for the Chaos Terminators. I don't know what, what Chaos Librarian is doing. He does get them out of there without losing a model, but he won't have too much use out of them. Oh, and now we got a battle wagon from Noisy. Uh, Crazy Man tried to set up a turret to stop back caps on that VP, but he can't stop a battle wagon with that turret. And with that, with this war boss coming right here, um, that will probably be the end of the game. Alright, so it's a single cap for the red team, on the verge of being a two cap. So that's pretty much the cast. A relatively short game, and not the mo not the closest game as you can see. Um, but I still liked. There was still definitely a lot of plays in this game that I liked, and I was really amazed by some of the stuff I saw in this replay. So I hope you thought so too. Hope you enjoyed the cast. Have a good night.